Architects, engineers, and designers are invited to create new concepts for skyscraper construction. Designs must be technologically feasible and environmentally responsible. It was due January 19th. This was November 12th. There was less than two months away from this thing, and I thought, you know, God, there could be an opportunity. If you're going to bet, who are you going to bet on? You're going to bet on yourself. I got 69 days to, um, from a standing start to conceive this, to present it, to submit my idea. And I can tell you today that I didn't win. But I can also tell you today that something better happened, something incredibly powerful happened as a result of this exploration. Most buildings are energy hogs. They consume lots and lots of energy to keep us dry and cool and warm uh, on an everyday basis. I've also shared this idea with Boone Pickens and Ray Harris, who is the president of uh, Mesa Power, and I'm happy to say that they see tremendous potential in this concept. As you see aerodynamic qualities, the notion that the building is slippery to wind in its um, circular shape from that standpoint. And there are a number of other very important sustainable features. If you know anything about LEED certification, you know that it's very important to have buildings that are uh, responsible from an environmental point of view. And uh, the building has a small footprint, which is an important part of the process. And it tapers at the center. The beltway, if you will, is 300 feet in diameter, so it's virtually a square block. The turbine blades would be made out of carbon fiber, which is very light and very um, powerful, uh, excuse me, very uh, strong from that standpoint. And they're roughly four feet in height, and they are located in the interstitial spaces between uh, the floors themselves. Each turbine is independent, which means that air pressure is different. The higher you go, the higher the wind pressure is generally, and so each floor turbine can operate at a different um, horizontal speed, if you will, which is an important part of the process. When the wind is blowing 13 miles an hour, which is right now, uh, the building will generate 10% of the power necessary to operate it. That's significant. That is really significant. However, when it's 28 miles an hour, which is every single day, as we all know, this building would generate 100% of the power necessary to operate. It would be energy neutral. The very best ideas are often those that are about reacting to the conditions that are all around you. They're right there. They're within arm's length of where you are and what you're doing. But the key for all of us is we have to be paying attention to all those things that are just at our fingertips. Wow.